guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have got a another tip and trick tutorial on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and today we're going to be talking about how to get the Damascus camo or whatever it's called as quick as possible right now in Call of Duty Modern Warfare right guys so while we're talking about how we're going to get the camos and the easiest way to get the camos what attachments and stuff you should be using to get these camos it's going to be a bit of gameplay in the background of me playing shipment just using a shotgun that I've just got gold within the space of about four hours like I said in the intro did I say that in the intro? I think I did. But anyway, I got it gold in four hours, and there's some gameplay of me just finishing it off in the background. But yeah, so basically, for obviously, what you want to be playing, the game modes that you want to be playing are Shipman 24 7, which is out currently. I mean, if it's not out, this video isn't going to be as helpful, but it will still apply. I mean, Shipman 24 7, you definitely want to be playing, you will get camo done insanely quickly. But if you're using things like pistols or knives or something, it's a bit more difficult or maybe snipers so it's a bit more difficult maybe what you want to be playing is hardcore 24 7 shipment and shoot house as there's a bit more range on like games like uh, shoot house so it could be a bit easier but obviously for the first camera I've got them written down just so I know the requirements for each one so I can walk it through a bit better so obviously for the first camo, which is spray paint, you only need 400 kills, which will just come as you're getting the cameras. It's not something you're going to try and play for. That's just going to come as it does. So then secondly, you've got the woodland, which is 75 kills while crouching, which if you're playing shipment is very easy. You can just literally crouch at the one of the corners of the map. So you're looking into the middle or even crouch in the corner behind the barrels or the forklift, something like that. It's very, very easy. It'll just be done quickly. If you want to try, if you try and play for it, it'll be done very quickly, but you can it just comes as well while you're playing but I would definitely if you're gonna try and play for it just crouch looking into the middle or crouch by the barrels or the forklift trucks uh, thirdly we've got digital which is 75 hit fire kills on a map like shipment that just comes insanely easy any gun you're using it's just like shotguns SMGs assault rifles you're gonna be hit firing because it's just so close range if you there's no need to be aiming half the time so that will come within the space of about three four games which is a nice easy one as well and then you've got dragon camos which is five point blanks which considering the map you're playing on is literally you're just walking into each other the whole game it's just so easy to get done it's going to happen within the space of two three games as long as you get enough kills if you play a game of domination it's going to get done insanely quickly you won't actually believe how quickly it will be done and then you've got the splinter camo which is 50 headshots and again this will just this is another one that will just come this is the thing with all these camos on shipment it's going to be done so quickly because they'll just come as you're playing but if you want to try and get it obviously just aim a bit higher aim for the head you've only got to get 50 headshots in total which is fairly easy to do i mean like i say all these camos you can just do by just playing shipment it will just get done but yeah for headshots just aim a bit higher maybe put a sight on which could help with the uh, accuracy of the head if you want to sit back a bit, don't get so involved, you can sit back, aim for the head a bit more. And yeah, a bit easier for headshots. Next up is the Topo Camo, which is, again, it's just one that will come as you play. It's 225, atta 225 kills with 5 attachments. So all you've got to do is play with 5 attachments, just shred shit up like you should be doing. <laughs> get them killed, drop nukes, whatever it is, just, you can just easily get them kills. This is something you can have going while you're getting other attachments, uh, other camos, sorry, that the headshot one, the crouching one. Uh, just a lot that can tie in together and will be done very, very quickly on shipment. Next up is the Tiger camo, which is 25 double kills. And if you cannot get double kills on shipment, you are mental. There is so many opportunities where there is two or three enemies stood next to each other. You'll be spawning behind them. Literally a case of picking a pair of them off. It's super simple super easy and will be done within the space of one or two games to be honest so yeah that's that one we then have the stripes camo which is 30 kills shortly after reloading which is a bit more difficult but if you play it a bit more tactically if you know where someone's been camping the whole game or something like that you can just shoot a bullet reload run in kill them or i don't know if you're just going on a bit of a spree it will come because everyone's so close together the chances are as soon as you finish reloading you'll see an enemy so it's going to take a bit longer that one and like I said you can play it a bit more tactically by just reloading when you when you know where someone is. If you know someone's about to run around a corner just pop the bullet out, reload, pop them in here, you know it's done. It's, a bit, it's going to take a bit longer, it's one of the harder ones to get done but it still gets done pretty quickly. One of the last camos will be the reptile camo which is 110 kills with no attachments. 
And again, this is just one where you've just got to keep playing the game. Just play two or three games. If you get domination, you can get, easily get it done in two games. Just the fact of it's going to be a bit more difficult, but because obviously you've got no attachments. But the thing is, it's, it's still easy. It's still easily done. And the final camo of the uh, of all the camos is the skulls one, which is needing 30 kills or 33 kill streaks. So you have to get three kills of inner life before you die. Which on shipment, like I've said, with the double kills is very easy because you're going to be spawning behind people. People will spawn in front of you. It's just very easy to be able to get three kills in one life. You can play it more tactically, sit in one of the corners, try and play it off. But you should be able to just get that one done running around killing everyone. Because, like I say, with the double kills, everyone's just in such close spaces, it's very easy to get done. So guys, as I mentioned, it is very easy to get the camos done. A lot of them, as I said, will just come as you're playing on shipment because some of them you've got to think about a bit more, the ones like reloading, the crouching one. But other than them two, really, maybe the headshots, they just come as you're playing. As long as you've got the right things on, like the right attachments or no attachments. But that's the good thing about the shipment playlist is you don't need to worry about the class setup as such as... As long as you've got five attachments, you're going to get 100 or 225 kills. If you've got no attachments, you're going to get 110 kills. It's just so easily done on shipment. It's mental. You could get two free guns done a day. So you'll be silly not to take this opportunity while the player is there. And like I say, for harder ones like pistols, shotguns are all right on court. Just like things like pistols and knives and maybe the right shield. You just want to play uh, hardcore. It'll be a bit easier for you. Maybe snipers as well because then you'll get shootouts, which is a bit more long range. So, but even like carbine rifle, shotguns, all of that can just easily be done on core. And I've done it myself in the last two days. I've absolutely grinded through the guns for camos. I've only got two of them gold so far, but I've got 95% of all the camos completed because it's just that easy, guys. So, yeah, that's just it's just easy, lads. So, guys, I really do hope that this video has helped you out and you have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know in the comments below. And if this is something that has helped you out, please do let me know. Share the video with all your friends. Let them know that they can get the camos done so quickly. Because if you're a grinder like me and you want to get all these camos done, you want to get all the medals in the game, then this is something that's going to help you out for the time being. And if you guys do enjoy this and if this video goes down well, I will release another video similar to this, but just how to get the Damascus camo all round when shoot house and shipment aren't available and in season two they're bringing rust back imagine rust is going to be so easy that's just going to be an absolute banger i can't wait for rust that's going to be so easy to get camos and it's just going to be so much fun but yeah guys if you are new around here hit, 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 hit that subscribe button and if you did enjoy the video please do hit a like it, it helps a lot it really does and uh leave me a comment let me know if you've got the damascus camo or if you're going to try and get it and if this did help you to get it also, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. They'll all be down in the description. Links will be there. So please, guys, do drop me a follow on all of them if you want. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Please.